Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we have seen how hardware configuration of AS and OS will be done in a multi project. In today's video, we will be seeing how an OB, FD, and FC are created in AS and what are the possibilities of adding a field devices in the hardware configuration. So, let's get diving. So, here we are in our workstation. So, we will open our schematic manager. First of all, we will navigate to component view. And we can see here, there is a folder called blocks. Here, whenever we create a CFC and drag blocks of FB instance in that CFC, the system will auto generate some OBs to that, I mean memory areas to that FBs. They will be, they can be shown here. So, we can create our own custom OB, FC and FBs here. So, let me show one by one. First, we will create one user independent OB. You. Organization block. So you can give uh, your required name for this OB, but they should be in OB containing with a number. So we can create in any given three languages, either ladder or FBD. So we will select FBD, log it to. So as you can see, an organization block was created. You can double click on it for a view. So uh, OBs are nothing but a custom memory areas, program dependent memory areas for FB's instance and we can also create our own custom OBs. So this is how an OB can be created. Next we will create a function block. This must also be started with FB and followed by a number. You can create any of the three offered languages. In select FPD and select OK. You can double click on this. So you can see we have an interface area where we can declare input outputs and in outputs on temporary memory area and static area of the FB. So if you want, you can create inputs IN1, Ventral and Rajit, IN2, 480. So here we can create like this and we will save the FB. And we will create one more field FC. So uh, basically the main difference between FC and FC is FC don't hold any memory area while FB will hold a memory area. Okay. So uh, this uh, user interface will be similar to FB but uh, the only thing is you don't have any memory area for uh, FC. So this logic which we have uh, which will return here will only be called while during the execution and after the returning of this FC there won't be any data stored in the logic of this FC but in FB uh, it will be created with uh, some DBs, internal DBs so those data blocks will hold the data of corresponding FB corresponding FBs so uh, we will create some pins for FC also you can save and since we have created our uh, three uh, OB, FC and FBs, we will try to uh, import them into our CFC. We will go to the example CFC plane. So you can see it is empty. So as I told, uh, if you already uh, use any blocks of uh, multi-project, they will be shown here for a quick navigation. So we will go to charts. Since I have created uh, them in... Uh, my library folder go to blocks s on programs so here we won't be having OBs because those are system defined and user defined also will be coming into some certain categories as I mentioned OB 100 and 101 are only called whenever there is a startup or restart operation so like that if you have a clear application on when you are going to use those uh, OBs, you can directly define there itself. They won't be reflected in the program. So uh, I'll click drag and drop uh, this FBs into my CFC plane. So as you can see, uh, a custom FB was created with IN1, IN2 and out. I can create the logic in FB. So that will be reflected as an operation in, in this FB instance. That is my type here, uh, which FB is have. That is my type. And this is an instance of that FB. So you can copy n number of FBs in my CFC. And same goes to FC also. But the major 
difference is usering okay so uh, uh, there will be some uh, default uh, fc numbers followed by fc name so those things we uh, should not be declared then uh, in that is the case uh, system will throw error like this maybe uh, my 1245 was already uh, declared by the system so that's why i'm getting this error so uh, you, you can go through the manual where uh, which fc number is user defined and you can create with that fc number so for fbs also uh, there will be some uh, restriction for creating uh, followed by the numbers so we should make sure uh, while creating the fb custom fbs so uh, as i uh, already given a tutorial on uh, how to create uh, fb instances from library uh, most of it is uh, just a P pt discussion so uh, here you can directly navigate to the blocks and you can go to the corresponding uh, fb block which you wanted to add for example here uh, it is a channel so i'll be adding the fb anl so you can see here it is calling under ob35 and this is my third chart in the plane so you can see 1 2 3 and this is the third chart in the plane so here you can see this is the fb instance if you double click on this we will get the properties of that uh, block so you can uh, see all the hidden uh, ios in this so these are all the pins uh, for this fb block and uh, defaultly some will be in invisible state so if you want to have the access to particular pin you can make it that uh, checkbox as visible and you can see as i told it will be uh, assigned to one master fb and some memory area will also be allocated for this uh, fb instance so you can see data block 67 was allocated for this fb instance you can close and that's how we will import a function type to function instance in my cfc plane so uh, you can uh, do uh, similar uh, with the monitoring block also like uh, monitoring anl so you can see here how my monitoring block is placed this is also this is also see uh, fb instance of 18 Four five and uh, a DB memory area instance of sixty eight. So this is automated process. So it will automatically gives itself a DB name. So I'll try to make connection between my monitoring block to this one. Okay, here uh, I have made a connection. So uh, this is my uh, basically an uh, interconnection between two block in the same chart. Next we'll try to add an analog card and see uh, whether it is. connecting to my hardware inputs of the channel block so for this we need to navigate to hardware configuration of as go to hardware configuration of as and here you can see a dp master so we will go to dp master and uh, a remote ivo rack i will add et200m dragging and dropping et200m drop this is a profi uh, bus dp so it is asking for me for the address and uh, what is the speed configurations i will give it okay and as you can see i have a remote ivo drop under this remote ivo drop i will be adding an analog card i will choose any analog card and drag it here and under the uh, analog ivo cards i can go to addresses so it will be automatically occupied with the some memory address and it is calling at ob1 inputs so what is the input configuration and all and the redundancy also you can configure some diagnostic properties so you can right click on this and edit symbol so add symbols so what i am doing here is like uh, i am creating a, a symbol name to identify the memory areas occupied by this analog card so here automatically some symbol names were allocated and the data type was word apply and close save and compile and close the hardware configuration and uh, you can navigate to our cfc plane and select on this pv so interconnection possibilities i have already told you that uh, there are uh, many interconnection possibilities uh, in those uh, one thing was textual interconnection so textual interconnection is mainly like uh, at present the connection is not there but it will be established in the future 
So if you press on this, you can give it like something IN1 and OK. So it will be saved with uh, yellow text. So if uh, there is a block with IN1 input, it will be automatically connected to that pin. So uh, uh, anyway, that is not the correct uh, scenario we are working on. So I delete this and I connect to PV, enter connection to address. So uh, what is the address we are going to set through this? Let me check the symbol table. Yes, we already created some IOS. IW512. I connect to this one. So, uh, this is real actually. So, we'll delete this block and we'll insert some other analog monitoring blocks. Yeah. This is an ANI. So, I'll connect PV out to my PV of monitoring block. And I will navigate to address. So, you can see uh, since the data type is matching, uh, we'll automatically get the symbol names which you have created in that. I click on this, okay. So you can see it is mapped to my desk. A card input. So quickly compile. So it is uh, initial time, so it is asking me for until compile. So compilation is completed. We have two errors. So uh, as I told, uh, FC1 and FC45 we have created that is out of range. So, in order to eliminate those kind of errors, uh, we'll delete that. Uh. So, as you can see, uh, we have imported some new FBs, right? So, it will automatically populate some uh, FB instance with uh, corresponding uh, DB areas. The issue with the option of, see, so we'll delete this. Delete it. You can directly go to here and we'll compile. And that program, yes. So, for compilation, we don't need any online uh, CPU connection. So it will automatically offline it will compile the logical area. And um, if there are any interconnections also, it will automatically check. So no errors. So uh, if you update the view, you can see all hardware configurations are uh, for diagnostics and uh, other redundancy messages and all it automatically connects to that uh, AI card which we have placed in the hardware configuration. This block driver itself will take and it will process the input signal and it will give to my monitoring block. So uh, this is one interconnection probability and uh, this is a block to block interconnection and what if my chart is in some another CFC? You check that possibility. So here I will create one new CFC. And I will place that block here. So as you can see, these are two separate CFC areas. Cross chart interconnection was made. If I want to navigate to that, it can directly show me this one. So this is a cross chart interconnection. And uh, furthermore, uh, anyway, I told you already uh, block to block interconnection in same thing. And uh, hardware configuration interconnections, chart to chart interconnections. Uh, textual interconnections uh, like we can do here if it is going to be in future we can just mention scale value dot in1 if that is my name the future interconnection name so it will be mentioned as uh, in yellow color so if that block is existed then it will automatically close the connection and uh, finally one more thing yeah, uh, invisible connections like, right? So, uh, I'll go to this block and I'll go to object properties, iOS. And as you can see, uh, it is connected to my PV pin and I can navigate to this one. So, I press the test invisible. So, I, I press OK. So, as you can see, there is a connection to my PV pin. But, physically, I uh, intentionally uh, made it invisible. So, it is showing me in blue light blue color so if it represents a light blue color uh, we should be realize that uh, it has an interconnection to invisible pin and uh, that is a brief introduction guys how we can uh, create fd fc and obs in as area and how we can connect uh, in uh, uh, field devices uh, or uh, io plots in uh, as hardware connection and what are the interconnection probabilities of FBs in CFC editor. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on industrial automation.
Thank you for watching and we'll see you in your next video. Goodbye.